Alright guys, what is going on? Oink here, and today we have Seasonal Time Trial Challenge number 4. It's Thursday, we've got some brand new time trials, but we'll first we'll go into the winners from last week. So in first place we've got um, Nitro XN20, I guess, uh, with a 133.985, really nice time. And um, in second we've got Justin Brook, 134.343, and in third, Owen TQL 28 with 134.533. All really close times, and... Um, really nice times as well so good job to you guys and we'll get straight on to this week's challenge now of course we're going into seasonal events and time trial which is number 57 there on the left um and this week they've done it a bit differently it's kind of like everyone's using the same car same settings so you don't need to have any car you just enter the event we're going to be going into cart space one again this is one of the dlc ones i mentioned this before in, in another video um, even if you don't have the DLC, you can still race the track, so that's really good, and you don't need any cars, it provides you the car, so really helpful. You just jump straight in, and uh, here's my lap. Now, the lap that I set is quite, it's quite good, I mean, I pushed it a little way, I probably did this for half an hour or so. Um, I think I ended up at about 220th or something on the leaderboard, so like, it's a decent lap, but, you know, I'm trying to give you guys a good challenge here. Now, my ABS is set at 1, um, and all the other assists are off, however, I think the way you're going to beat this time is by probably changing your brake balance or your ABS maybe to a higher setting. Um, for those of you who are unsure about changing brake balance, I made a video about changing um, race adjustment settings, to, no matter which controller you're using. And with that, you can actually change the brake balance even in these time trial events. So that's really going to help you out if you want to try and push for that time because the standard brake balance isn't the fastest for this track. So that's a little hint for you guys. So the time to beat is a 0.44.926 in the Suzuki, obviously, that it gives you. And you can change any of your settings. Just um, beat the time, send it in, um, record your replay any way, shape or form, however you want to do it. And that's about it. So good luck to everyone. Thanks to the guys who submitted for last week, and congratulations to the winners, and I'll catch you guys soon. Peace.